Hello everybody, welcome back. And today I'm going to be doing a bit of a ship refit. So basically um, we have this ship over here and in case you're wondering what the ship is called, um, I'm going to show you what, it, what it's called. And it should be this orange ship right here. Very good. So no mods, um, survival. So there we go, so that's the ship itself. And what I want to do is I want to do a bit of a reset of the ship. So this is supposed to be a very a survival ship. And then, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, behind here, first of all, we're going to eliminate the engines. If you might ask me, why would you eliminate the engines? Why would you delete them? Well, it's because we don't need them. Because we're going to be doing a gravity drive refit. Now, a lot of people particular they've got parachutes that's interesting that they have parachutes here so like in case the ship crashes into an atmosphere you you have like a backup so what I, what I want to do is I want to basically have um, grav drives gravity generators mass blocks and definitely you want to have um, those so I want to cover this and then we want to also cover this eliminate that gravity generator and then we also we want to now then we want to cover the entire well now the only problem with this though is even though this hatch is nice it does it does make the gravity drive quite vulnerable so i would replace that with heavy armor um if if i was this guy that designed this ship Obviously, we have um, the gravity generators that would that are literally lethal. Like they produce twenty five G, and that is a gravity field, and that was that would just destroy you. That would probably crack your bones. That's higher than the most as high as the sun's gravity. So, because I care, um, what I would do is I'll make sure the fuel radius is a lot tinier, and it would still make sure it's one G. So, there we go. That seems to be okay. And then what, then what I'll do is I'll make sure I will basically refit this. And then I would just put basically 100% artificial mass blocks. And seriously, here, there we go. We should have an immediate massive acceleration. <laughs> Holy crap. So obviously this is absolutely insane. And the thing is, is that these are expensive as the hell, but I could just keep adding them. But in reality, I doubt I need any more because this is just already so crazy that unless I'm intentionally trying to accelerate. So you see, I, I could slow down and accelerate. I mean, the g-forces must be so extreme. Now, the main issue is that because the, the main thrust from the gravity drop isn't piercing the center of mass of the ship, we're doing loops. It, it's physics, okay, guys? So... The replacement is gyros. Ow. And the problem is the G the fact the ship is rotating, the G forces are absolutely extreme. Oh. I mean, if I had a G force made it probably be like 25 G. It's just brutal. So I mean So what if I just slap on some gyroscopes and try to control it that way? Oh, 
Okay, we're going to go refit mode, and we're going to turn off the ship's power while we put some gyroscopes in, because otherwise I'm just going to go a bit insane. But this is definitely very annoying to mess with. There we go, very protected. Okay, so if I re-engage this, I think the ship is actually in control of itself. So I could flip it over and slow down at like 15 G. Holy moly. That's insane. So the end, the ship is frost is absolutely spectacular. There's no point. So if this gravity drive, <laughs> this is the ultimate form of propulsion. Should have small thrusters only for anyway, let's actually turn off all the gravity drives. Yeah, this will take a long ass time to slow down. And this just shows how, like, I'm pretty sure that I'm being forced, as usual. We're slowing down, but I'm pretty sure a mass block, artificial mass, requires what? 600 kilowatts so in total we're not using that much and i'm pretty sure artificial I, I'm, So one of the other problems with the ship that I would change is that, well, it's a, it's a, but if you're going to be doing acceleration like that, you probably don't want the ship to be a horizontal ship design. You probably want it to be vertical, like in, like in the expanse. So, yeah. But this just shows like, like I think that's like something because like a thousand times more thrust at like a massively cheaper cost. Cool. Hope you guys enjoyed.